Wolfrath is a town in the district of Metmon, in North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany. The town is situated on the mountain spurs of the Bergische Land, between the Rhine, Ruhr and Wupper rivers. It is located in the central part of the Berg region, approximately 12 kilometers northeast of Dusseldorf. The old town center lies in the small valley of the Angerbach, a brook which rises nearby and flows through the town. The newer parts of the town are built on the valley slopes. Wolfrath was one of the first settlements to be made in a clearing in the great imperial forest of the early Middle Ages. The name means clearing of a man named Wolf and its date of origin is thought to be about 713. Around this has grown up the legend of a settler called Wolf who had been expelled from his clan and who was supposed to have made a clearing in the then luxuriant forest on the site of the present village centre. In 875 the hundreds and present suburbs of Flandersbach and Rutzgausen, Rotsteningesen, i.e., the houses of Ratzi's people, are named in a description of the places owing tithes to Worden Abbey on the Ruhr. In around 1100 the place name Wolfrath itself is at last mentioned in a document written in a monk's hand at the religious house at Kaiserswerth. The boundaries are given in a deed of grant of the Emperor Henry VI dated October 16, 1165 as the courses of the Rhine, Ruhr and Dussel rivers. The eastern boundary was the old highway of the Kolnische Strasse which ran from the bridge over the Ruhr or Werden via Felbert and Wolfrath along the Dussel towards Cologne. The centre of the medieval village was a domain farm or manor, which as part of the lordship of Hardenberg was sold to the Counts of Berg. Possession of this manor, to which an extensive group of scattered farms belonged, particularly in the hundreds of Erbach and Puttbach, also gave control of the advocacy of the church, that is, the right to appoint the priest. As early as 1265 the presence of a smith can be demonstrated from the tax and rent register. The estate of Puttbach in the hundred of the same name was in the possession of the Teutonic Knights in 1392. It became the administrative centre for the order's scattered properties, where every year the manorial court was held. In 1578 the village was destroyed by a great fire, which also burnt the roof and tower of the church. To help mitigate the severe losses of the inhabitants, the local prince, Duke Johann Wilhelm IV of Jülich Cleve Berg, granted them in 1579 a charter of market rights, permitting his village and parish of Wolfrod four free markets a year. But exactly 100 years after the first fire, another destroyed the entire village centre with more than 70 houses. After the transfer of the Duchy of Berg to the French and the establishment of the Grand Duchy of Berg, out of the hundreds Erbach, Puttbach, Abschwarzbach, Niederschwarzbach, Flandersbach, Rutzkausen and Oberdussel was formed in 1808 the municipality of Wolfrath. In 1809 of Schwarzbach and Niederschwarzbach were added to Metmon, in return for which, the hundred of Unterdussel with the village of Dussel were given to Wolfrath. After the Wars of Liberation the place came to Prussia, as part of the newly created Rhine province. By an ordinance of 1827 Wolfrath was entitled to representation as part of the estate of towns in the Rhine Provincial Parliament. In 1856 it finally received full municipal rights with the passing of the town ordinance for the Rhine province. At the time of the first recorded reference in c. 1100, the first church building could already have been standing on the site of the present church square, a small early medieval church with a square choir. Since the 11th century a Romanesque church stood there, which was extended and enlarged in the 15th century with Gothic additions. In the mid-15th century it was referred to as St. Cornelius Church. The tower in Northall with a wall separating it from the nave are Romanesque, probably from the 12th century. The nave is Gothic, from the 14th century. The South Isle in late Gothic style was completed, according to a capstone, in 1524. The church is surrounded by houses and shops built round it in a circle, forming a beautiful enclosed church square typical of the ancient Berg region. The surrounding houses remain for the most part in their original state and are protected buildings, although others have been rebuilt. Each of them had a name as well as a house number, Alfam Keller, Hamels, Melanders, Op der Ley, Alfam Haus, Grosser Klaus, Kleiner Klaus, Scholl, Hinterm Tuum, Jossen House, Hexstein House, Op de Trap and Leonhards. In 2001 a part of the historic old town yet again fell victim to the flames. During the night of January 21, 2001 a fire broke out which destroyed three of the old half-timbered houses. They had to be demolished, and have been replaced by modern buildings. By the mid-19th century, more than 100 companies and businesses had established themselves, most of which were largish cottage industries, principally weaving on looms. After 1850, 
the first large-scale businesses, aided by steam technology, were created. Despite the strong industrialization of that time, the village's agricultural character was not completely lost, but today only isolated agricultural enterprises exist. Of particular significance was the arrival of quarrying in Wolfrath, with the establishment of the Rhinisch Westfalische Kalkwerk Adornap in 1887, and the Rhinische Kalksteinwerk of Wolfrath in 1903. Wolfrath now has the largest chalk and limestone quarries in Europe. These undertakings have been a decisive influence on the development of the town, and have remained the principal component of Wolfrath's industrial life until now. There continue to be numerous home-based weaving enterprises, as well as businesses involved in finishing leather and many other small firms. A branch of the Ford Works at Cologne was founded here, rising out of the coachwork company Joseph Hebmuller Saini, established 1889 and still extant as. After 1840, the Wolfrath coat of arms, modeled on an old seal of the Lutheran Reformed Municipality, was designed by the Dusseldorf heraldic and painter Wolfgang Pagenstier. In 1938 the arms were again redesigned and officially recognized by the President of the Rhine Province. The arms, showing a shepherd in medieval costume fending off a wolf with his staff, symbolized the victory of good over evil and referred to the town's name, although not particularly to the settler wolf. Colon in September 2020, Reiner Otto Risch was elected mayor of Wolfrath. Previous mayors the city council has 46 seats. The elections in 2020 show the following results, sons and daughters, persons with relationship to the city. Thanks for watching.